Can you be rebaptized? Well, that's the question that we are looking at in today's daily devotion. I'm Pastor John Blevins. It's Friday, November 27th, 2020, and I'm thankful that you're here with us for another devotion. Well, let's turn to God's Word. Let's hear from Him as we seek to understand better this question and answer. So we're going to turn in the Bible to the New Testament, to the book of Romans, chapter 6. And we're going to read verses 1 through 11. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can he who died in sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in death like this, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like this. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin, for one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin, once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Now, this is one of the few times that we have only one study passage down in our description, but that's what we have uh, this day. Uh, that study passage uh, helps us to, to formulate and get a better understanding for a very short, also, theology portion. So we're going to turn to Westminster Confession of Faith, chapter 28, and we're going to read section 7, the last session, section dealing with baptism. The sacrament of baptism is but once to be administered unto any person. This might be a question you've wondered about, or perhaps you've never even thought about it. I've seen folks in my life who have uh, talked about being rebaptized. I've even seen, especially on social media, uh, Facebook friends or friends in other places who will uh, they'll post, uh, you know, it might be the, a, a video of the, the third time they've been baptized that year, and, and they, they seek to be rebaptized, they're rededicating, they're doing different things. Uh, and, and they're doing this because of their understanding of baptism. Uh, but as we read there, uh, both in, in Romans and also as we read in our, from the Westminster Confession of Faith, we, we get a clear understanding that there is, you're only baptized once. And to help us understand this, let's hear from our friend Chad Van Dixhorn in his book, Confessing the Faith, uh, on page 380, dealing with this exact question, uh, talking about being baptized once. So our friend Chad writes, It remains to be said that the sacrament of baptism is but once to be administered unto any person. Just as the renewal of the Holy Spirit is a one-time event, so is the washing of regeneration that signifies this renewal. We see that in Titus 3.5. Nowhere in the New Testament do we see people being re-baptized, except for the people whom Paul found in Ephesus who had known only the baptism of John the Baptist. This is my comment now. So they weren't being re-baptized because they hadn't been baptized with the new covenant sign and seal of baptism. All right, back to what Van Dixon wrote. Admittedly, it is, a, it is puzzling to consider what baptism should mean to us when it was not used or intended rightly, as in the Roman Catholic Church, and yet the person baptized later becomes a believer. It is also troubling to think what some people falsely confess faith and are baptized as hypocrites, perhaps only later coming to true faith. Such cases remind us that the church is to labor to avoid both improper baptisms and the baptism of improper subjects. 
Nonetheless, if we understand the point of the previous paragraph, we will see that the Holy Spirit can use baptism, even deficient baptisms, as he wills. God's grace has a priority over the intention and manner of administration and over the truth or falsity of a profession. God's grace is displayed in baptism and needs to be displayed only once. So no, you cannot be rebaptized. In fact, there is no such thing as being rebaptized. You were baptized properly and rightly once. So perhaps it's the the previous time water had been administrated, but it was not a proper baptism, or perhaps you have been baptized correctly and you just continue to have water applied to you. But there is no such thing as rebaptized. There is only baptism once. Biblical Christian, New Covenant baptism. All right, well, something for you to think about as we uh, are coming coming soon, very close to the end of our uh, time together in regards to looking at baptism, ready to move on very soon. In the next couple of days, we're going to start looking at the Lord's Supper. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your grace. We ask that you would help us to grow in our understanding of your truth and your word and that it would teach us, remind us of our baptism that we might seek to glorify you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's good to be with you. Until we're together again, may our great God bless and keep you.